we recognize we need to do things differently. Stakeholders were given an opportunity to submit proposals on what could assist growth in the industry and also what they would be prepared to bring to the table to achieve that growth. To date, we've received nearly 40 submissions from individual businesses, associations, and unions. I will be appointing a facilitator to engage stakeholders shortly on the submissions and on the content of the master plan so that we can finalize a working draft as soon as possible. The master plan must be action-oriented. It must be implementable. It's not going to be a 400-page document. It's going to be short. I hope it will set out a crisp set of action plans which each party can carry out. What do we need from the metal industry? What do we need from organized labor? What do we need from government? So that everybody knows what they must bring and what they can take back. We've identified the need to improve industrial performance, dynamism, and competitiveness of local companies in the sector. Government's role in this process is facilitative and enabling, and to ensure that all the tools in the public toolbox uh, helps to achieve this goal. How to build a competitive, dynamic, agile sector. Through the master plan, government reaffirms its commitment to the sector. Al already the IDC, which is the host uh, uh, today of, of this event has revised its criteria for the 1.5 billion rand downstream steel competitiveness fund, which will provide greater access at better interest rates for a larger number of businesses in the sector. The Department of Trade, Industry and Competition is also establishing a metals fabrication support program, which will provide grants of up to 30 million rand to qualifying foundries and mini mills. And these will be part of the new master plan. In addition, a new auto master plan aims by 2035 to increase local content uh, sharply from 39%, which is where it is at the moment, to 60%. That provides a substantial opportunity for the entire metals value chain, particularly steel, which constitutes more than half the weight of the average vehicle.